Okay, I've got to find the remainder when it's divided by that. Well, all I have to do for that is work out what f of 3 is. And that equals 2 times my 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared minus 17 times 3 plus 6. And that is 54 plus 27 minus 51 plus 6. And that is 36. Given that f of 2 equals 0, therefore uh, f of 2 equals 0. It's a bit of a mess. f of 2 equals 0. Therefore x minus 2 is a factor. And as we got a linear factor, well we know what it is, is x minus 2 and a quadratic factor. I always like using a grid method for this. So I've got to, it's going to be quadratic, so it's going to be three things there. And I've got to get in here, I've got to get 2x cubed. So I write down 2x cubed here. What do I have to times that x by to get that? And that will obviously be 2x squared. That gives me in this one, minus 4x squared. I don't want minus 4x squared, I want plus 3x squared, so I need to add 7x squared, so I need to get 7x squared here. x times 7x gives me that, or I suppose technically plus 7x, and that will also give me minus 14x. I don't want minus 14x, I want minus 17x, so I've got to take away another 3x. How do I get that? I do x times by negative 3. And that, unfortunately, gives me minus 3 times minus 2. It gives me plus 6. And yippee, that's what I wanted. So I know I've got to check. And so therefore, my things are uh, x minus 2 times by 2x squared plus 7x minus 3. And it's worthwhile writing it down uh, explicitly. Finally, determine the number of real roots of the equation, giving a reason for the answer. Uh, well, that's one root, one real root, and the discriminants of this bit is b squared minus 4ac. b squared is 49 minus 4 times by the a is 2 times by the c is negative 3, and that equals... Um, 49 plus 24 which equals 73 which is greater than zero therefore two real roots here therefore three real roots all together and that's five done